Hey everybody, it's Coach. And Mrs. Coach. This is Coach Cast TV, and we are back today with something for the Blinks. Mm. And this is a collaboration of sorts between Rose and Lisa. Ooh. And if you were waiting on the Born Pink album, it's coming. But a little we made a detour. And if you've been with us along this journey, you know that that's par for the course. Uh, but when I was told that uh, we had a, a collaboration between these two, mm -hmm. I just had to hear it. Okay. And so this one is a cover, I believe, of a Nat King Cole song called Love. That was before my time, so I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, it's not like I'm that much older than you. <laughs> and so, anyway... <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, it's going to be interesting. Okay. And we're going to do it. Coming up next. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, this is a good time. <laughs> is it not? It is. They're happy and they're dancing and just having a good old time. When we watched the uh, Light Up the Sky mm -hmm. documentary, which was how we uh, were introduced to this group, mm -hmm. there seemed to be a very special connection between these two ladies. Mm -hmm. And uh, it appears so on stage. Yes. Here as well that they just have a very special bond mm -hmm. and it's really cool to see and uh it, this is just kind of a feel good yep. uh song and who better to make you feel good than the ladies of black pink mm -hmm. they are fantastic always are they yes. never miss well they make you smile yes we've said that many yes. times So there's something at the end of this that's evidently not this song, uh, okay. and we'll continue to watch this in just a minute, but uh, that was fantastic. They are just happy. They yes. are, you can see it's genuine. They really do appreciate 
where they're at in life. Yeah, well, I mean, if you were uh, maybe the largest, uh, most famous musical group on earth, uh, you'd probably be happy too. Well, I mean, no, they genuinely enjoy what they're doing. They do? I don't, I don't think it would matter if they were singing in front of millions of people or just two people. I think that their demeanor is just, they are a very appreciative of being there and people appreciating them. It's a genuine... Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they genuinely love music. Yes. And they love to perform. Mm-hmm. And you're right. And you can see even some of the things that Rosé uh, has done, that like the cover mm-hmm. that she did that we watched, where it was a small crowd. Mm-hmm. But she was having a good time. Yes. And I think that music's just in their DNA. Mm-hmm. It's what they want to do. Let's see what's at the end okay. here. Well, I know that's music. I don't need the subtitle to tell me that. Uh, Well, that was something. That was good. That was good. They are. They are just... Blackpink and the girls from Blackpink are just genuinely... They enjoy what they do. Yep. They they love to sing and perform. It doesn't matter who's around, what's going on. And that's... that's uh, very unique because a lot of people once they start down a road of you know doing something a lot of people lose their joy these Mm -hmm. girls still can still continue to do it which is great yeah it's uh it's interesting to have watched them from our first Mm -hmm. videos uh you know the documentary and then whistle and boom by all the way to uh, getting ready to start their most recent album and how they've grown Mm -hmm. but it feels like the people that they are haven't changed through all of that and that's that's good to see and it makes it easier to cheer for people to do well when they don't become um self-involved egos right i mean they they don't have them yeah absolutely uh, this was a good suggestion and a short detour before we begin the Born Pink album, mm-hmm. but you guys can count on the fact that that will be the next Black Pink that we drop, and it shouldn't be too much longer before we get to that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we always appreciate the Blink showing up on the yes. channel and everybody else who watches. Mm-hmm. And uh, for now, if you guys would, please throw a thumbs up on this video and make sure you're subscribed. And ring that bell. And we'll be back soon on another episode of CoachCast TV. (laughs) I should leave that in. Mrs. Coach's stomach said, feed me. No, Mrs. Coach's stomach didn't say feed me. It said, you fed me too much. If that picked up on the mic, it's staying in. Have a great day.